how to make money is crossed out. And the reason it's crossed out is because I want you to understand something. You cannot make money. You can only take money from somebody else. Most people understand, most people have this view of, because you work, in, mo in, the, in the average Joe's life, they work and they get money. So they go to work, they make something, and then they get money. So they think they're making money. You cannot make money. You can only take money from other people. You can only convince other people to give you money. That's the only way money can be made, unless you're the Federal Reserve, and you're not the Federal Reserve. The Federal Reserve makes money. You take money. So I, when you're going through life, I want you guys to stop saying, I want to make money. You have to start saying, I want to take money. Because that's how you have to think. You don't make it. You take it. So you have to start talking that way. You've got to take money. There was a very smart man who worked in the pimping business. I can't remember his exact name. And his quote and his truth, well, this is a, truth, a truthful quote. His quote was, business is simple. It's just other people's money. That's all a business is. A business is getting other people to send you their money. That's what a business is. So we're no longer going to say we're going to make money. We're going to talk about how we're going to take money. Because that's what we're going to do. Here's me talk about how you can't make it. You can only take it, which is absolutely true. Now, the Federal Reserve makes money. It doesn't matter in America they make dollars. It doesn't matter what country you're in. You've got your own version of the Federal Reserve. They create money from thin air. You need to understand something is that money isn't real and it's created from thin air to enslave us. You are slaves for money. The people who are in charge of the world, what they do is they type in numbers on a screen and they turn on the printer, they print pieces of paper, and then they use these pieces of paper to make you do things you don't want to do and make you a slave for pieces of paper that they make effectively for free. Now, the important thing about this is that this destroys the idea of saving yourself rich. I have lots of people come to me and go, oh, well, I'm saving for, if I save for my retirement, save, save, save. You cannot save yourself rich because you can never save money faster than the Federal Reserve can print money. During this coronavirus thing, they've printed trillions of dollars, trillions, T. With a T, trillions. You even know how much that is. Let's look it up. Trillions of dollars have been printed. They call it quantitative easing. They call it like economy rescue. They call it all these stupid things. Basically, what they do is they turn on the printing press and they print money. And during this coronavirus thing, they printed more than ever. So there's no point in you saving this money, working hard, saving little bits, and then... They just print more. That's why your money, that's why you have to deal with inflation. That's why your money's worth less every year. But my point is, if more and more is going into circulation, you need to find a way to get more and more. You don't need to save the little bits you have, like a little squirrel. Let me get the little bits and we just save them. No, you got to find a way to get more and more. More exists every day. There is more money. Remember, we're not trying to make money. We're trying to take money. Every day there is more money out there. Every street you drive down, every building is owned by somebody. Somebody owns that building. Billions of dollars. You drive down one road, you see billions. That skyscraper, that building, millions, millions, millions. From Tokyo, Shanghai, Dallas, L.A., everything. There is so much money. It's everywhere. You have to find a way to take. You cannot make and you cannot save. I want to give a very quick example. We're going to very quickly look at my Instagram. Let me quickly do this and show you my Instagram page. Pay attention here, guys. So you can see my Instagram. We've got M5. We've got a Vanquish S Ultimate. There's only 175 in the world. We've got a 992. Here we've got a Lamborghini Huracan. Here we've got a McLaren 720S. This is a bag with a million dollars in it. This is, look, this is a S63 AMG. This is me in all these different places. Traveling the world. This is me with Chris Eubank. Blah, blah, blah. You cannot save enough money to live this lifestyle. Even if you made 10,000 euro a month, let's imagine you made 10,000 euro a month. Okay, let's take, I've got $3 million of cars. That's what I've got. So let's imagine you make $10,000 a month because everyone says, oh, if I could make $10,000, I'd be really happy if I could make $10,000. So if you think $10,000 is a good amount, 
then let's do some math. I got $3 million of cars. You're making $10,000 a month. You are saving 100% of your income. You're not spending any of it. You're not spending a penny. You're eating for free, living for free, getting to and from work for free, not going out with your friends. You're not doing nothing. And each month, you're saving your whole $10,000. It can take you 300 months, 25 years, divided by 12. 300 months is 25 years to save up enough money to buy my cars. 25 years of your life, you're going to have to save and work and spend zero dollars to get my cars. It's impossible. The only way you get my cars is by earning more, not by saving. Get rid of the idea of saving. Get rid of the idea of making money. Now, I'm not saying be irresponsible. I'm not saying throw all your money away. But the idea that you can save yourself rich is a joke. It's the kind of lie that the people in charge, the slave masters, want you to believe. Oh, don't worry. Just keep working. And you keep saving $100 a month while I print trillions a week. That's stupid. Don't be stupid. More money exists every day. You have to find a way to take more money. Money is like water. Water is always moving. Pay attention to the cycle of precipitation. It rains, it hits the ground, it flows down the street, goes down the drain, goes in the drain, down a pipe, goes into the river, flowing in the river, goes into the ocean. The ocean is sitting there, sun comes, it evaporates, goes back into the sky, the cloud floats somewhere else, it rains again. Rain is always, water is always moving, all the time. And money is the same. Money never stays still. If you put money in a bank, that bank is using it for something. If you spend money, it's moving from one place to another. If you buy a Starbucks, Starbucks takes your money, pays its employees. Then the employee goes to fucking the store and buys something. The money is always moving. So once again, we are not trying to make money. More money exists every day. We are trying to take money and it's always moving. Now, let me ask you guys a question. If you were abandoned, understand something. If you were abandoned and you wanted to take people's stuff, like, you know, the train robbers or the old school coach bandits, they wouldn't try and get the gold when it was stuck in the vaults or the banks. They would try and get the gold when it was moving. They'd wait till it was being transported and they'd hijack it, just run up on it, bop, 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 give me the gold. So when something's moving, it's vulnerable. So money is always vulnerable. Write this down. We're not trying to make money. We're trying to take money. More exists every day. It's always moving and it's vulnerable. It's vulnerable because it's always moving. If you can find and identify a place where money is moving, if you can find a place where money is moving and stand in the way, then the money is vulnerable. So I make money lots of different ways. Lots of you guys know all the different ways I make money. And I don't want to talk about that very much. But I will give you a very quick example. OnlyFans, we don't know what that is. I'll give you a very quick example. It's girls who sell pictures to, to horny guys. I saw girls making a lot of money with OnlyFans. So I saw money moving. Girls, guys, pictures being sent, money. I saw money moving. So I stood in the middle, got some girls I knew who didn't do OnlyFans, and said, look, I'll teach you how to do it. I'll take a cut. So I put myself in the middle of the money movement and I got some money. You have to stand in the middle of the money. If you stand in the right place at the right time, you're gonna get wet. If you stand in the right place at the right time, you're gonna get rich.